the lady you're about to meet is famous for eating more junk food than any other human on the planet. She's also known for being one of the funniest people in comedy today. You've seen her on Carson, on Letterman, and you've seen her on her own HBO special. It's a delight to welcome Paula Poundstone home to Massachusetts. Well, thank you How very are much. You? I'm good. A Sudbury lady. Very proud. Very proud. Very proud to return to the homeland. Yes, it is the homeland Sudbury, for you. Sudbury, a sleepy little town. <laughs> it's more stable than where you live now? Um, well, Los Angeles isn't sleepy, that's for sure. No. I think Sudbury has narcolepsy, actually. <laughs> Sudbury. Get Sudbury's out a little here. dull sometimes. No, no. Sudbury's going to be calling here. I, well, I love, I love them there, but it's a little slow. Just don't tell them It's all right. Stuff. Some of us look forward to that. You like yeah. being on after Erica Jung? I'm very, uh, yeah, I think it's a perfect transition. Uh, Paula Poundstone after Erica Jean, because all my big sex addictions. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if you've read my book. Hey, what's your book about? <laughs> well, I know, I know, I, I don't even have sex at all because I don't like it. Is, is that wrong to say? <laughs> you have the most frightened look on your face right now. <laughs> you know, I've thought about this though many times because the fact is, yeah, I don't have sex because I don't like it. And I guess that is a weird thing to say. But you know what I think is even weirder? What? No matter who I've ever gone out with and I tell them I don't like sex, they always say the exact same thing. <laughs> they always say, well, you'll like it with me. <laughs> I feel like, what, if I inadvertently got out with Sam I am? I said I don't like sex. I do not like it in a house. Exactly. I do not like it with a mouse. But by the end, he likes it now. You know, you have to think yeah, about well, that. Yeah, only part of my life is like that. <laughs> yeah. No, in fact, I keep thinking that since I don't have sex, maybe like another area of my, you know, like how blind people hear really well. Uh-huh. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. I keep thinking that maybe since I don't have sex, there's another part of my life that will be just incredible. <laughs> Maybe just something I haven't done yet. Like if, if I ever play croquet, I'll be incredible at it. <laughs> junk food. Why this addiction to uh, junk food? Well, because the sex thing isn't panning out the way people would hope. <laughs> Eventually, you turn to pop tarts. Yeah. Do I, uh, people send you pop tarts from all over the country? I'll be talking on stage, and like people, like a foil pouch will just flash and thump me in the chest. <laughs> I never told anyone to bring me pop tarts. They just started doing it for, and I'm thinking now I should tell people how much I like gems. Yeah, gems, <laughs> good. Like, emeralds are one of my favorite yeah. things. You went growing up. Um, you had an experience recently. I don't know if you'll share this, but you did with the producer. You were in the post office. You, oh, you're not. You're not really close to your family. Well, I guess I'm not terribly close to my family. They're, they're all right. Some of them still live in Sudbury. In fact, they. Uh, my, my now. My mom's just one of those angry moms, used to get mad at everything. One time when I was a kid, I knocked a Flintstones glass off the kitchen table, and she said, well, damn it, we can't have nice things. <laughs> <laughs> you saw her recently, but... Well, I ran into her in the post office. Yeah, it was just sort of a weird thing. We, I don't know, we hadn't been hanging out, and there she was, right? Now. But you know what's really weird? This is how connected I think that the, mm -hmm. the, the family things are. I was in the post office, and I it was the only 9.30 in the morning I'd just flown in from somewhere. And I just decided to get a little errand done. I was the only customer in the post office, and I'm standing there, and, and in a minute, I had this really weird feeling. And I said to the postal guy, I go, you know, I have the most weird feeling right now. And then I stopped, because I realized I was talking to a complete stranger. <laughs> I thought it was one of those who are the people in your neighborhood yeah. things. And, uh, and then I turned around, and my mom was three people behind me in line. Now, don't you think that's a little bit weird? That's, I, some would say that's psychic. We've had people on the show who would say that's very perceptive. So that might be, because uh, you're you not having probably, sex, maybe you're exactly, psychic. Exactly, I'm incredibly part of psychic. <laughs> One time I was at a show in, uh, in Bloomington, Indiana, and someone, I just stepped on the stage, and somebody in the back of the room yelled out, no one would ever sleep with you, essentially. And <laughs> nice. I had, I, honestly, I'd said nothing that would bring this about. It was just a person being kind of a jerk, I guess. But you know what's amazing? A year later, I thought about it and realized she had been correct. And apparently, <laughs> I was actually heckled by Jean Dixon from the Enquirer. <laughs> Very unusual, I feel. Uh, you're speaking at the high school in Sudbury, right? Tonight I'm doing uh, the annual, we're doing an, an event called Black and White Night at Lincoln Sudbury Regional High. I love it. They, How, they that? fix the cafeteria up real fancy, better than most nightclubs I've ever been in. Really? Yeah. This is going to be great, huh? It's, it's like, a, yeah, it's a, I'm the only one who doesn't go dressed up terribly fancy, but the others do. Great. Yeah. I, what, what kind of kid were you in high school? Were you funny? Um, to some. Did you get on well with your peers? Um, I don't, I'm not sure, really. I, doesn't everyone think they were kind of a dork in high school? Yeah. I've, and anytime I've ever asked an audience if, uh, if uh, people felt they were outcasts in high school, pretty much everyone in the room raises their hand, which means we couldn't have all been. Well, if mom, if we... <laughs> 
<laughs> if only we'd known that at the time. I know that we were all the if same. If they had like big outcast gatherings, <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what they should do instead of having dances at high schools. They go, we're having the outcast club tonight. <laughs> everyone would show up because it turns out true. everyone felt that way. You're right. But if you didn't find that, if you didn't think others perceived you as funny in high school and mom didn't have a great sense of humor about the Fred Flintstone glasses, <laughs> then how did you find the funny side of you? Um, well, I think I was kind of funny, I guess. I oh, mean, it's hard okay. to say. You, you know what I mean? I mean, it depends. Somebody probably is like watching right now that's from Sudbury and they're just remembering, no, she was annoying. So it's just, <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Perception, right? Exactly. It's, you know, I may have gotten a big kick out of me, but. <laughs> you don't do what a lot of other females in this field do, which is talk about very, well, of course, you just did, though. We did a whole thing on what sex. What I don't, I, I don't talk about sex. So I don't. No, but you don't talk about, you're not, you don't do Roseanne Barr stuff. You don't do. And you don't like the term female comic. Eh, funny babe. I prefer funny babe. <laughs> <laughs> no, I guess I t everything I say pretty much is true, with very few exceptions. Uh, I never, for example, actually vacuumed my cat's face. And, <laughs> and my mom was not three when she gave birth to me. Those are probably the only two things <laughs> that I've ever lied about on stage. Everything else is pretty much true, so it all comes from You, you know, talk from about me. your cats. How many do you have? I've got four now. Four. I, I, just got a, I just got a new one. And I was in the hospital. A few weeks ago, myself and the cat was climbing on the mantle in the apartment. How many times have I said, don't do that? <laughs> and uh, and they always get that look on their face when you go in and they're like up on something they don't belong on. Like, no, no, I, I was just getting down. Because <laughs> it wasn't you who said yesterday you didn't want me up here. <laughs> they have those short little cat memories. Anyways, he was playing on the mantle and fell off and, and broke his hip. So one of my cats Aww. is in the shop even as we speak. Aww. What are their names? Uh, let's see. The first one is Smike, named after the orphan from Nicholas. Nickleby, who was beaten, though there is no relationship. Uh, the second one is Baloo, named after the bear from Jungle Book. Oh, do you remember well, yes, the of course. Disney movie? Absolutely, it's one of my favorite things. Do you know that? Um, uh, let me think. The Bear Necessities, the year that uh -huh. the Bear Necessities was up for best song in the Academy Awards. Do you know what song won? No. Uh, talk to the animals, Dr. Doolittle. Like, that really upset you? Well, like there weren't some sort of sexual favors exchanged on that. <laughs> Bare Necessities is so much better than Talk to the Animals. You really think somebody slept with well, someone? Well, I think maybe, yeah. They were doing more than talking to the animals is you my think theory so? on that oh, one. Paula, <laughs> this is a family show. Sorry. E e e e. I don't know what you meant. <laughs> This is time to end this. I, mean, I was uh, talking about just puppy chow, something. Yeah. I don't know what happened. All right. For those of you who are not students at Lincoln Sudbury and don't intend to go tonight, we want to tell you Paula's also in town at the Paradise. The Paradise right there on Com Ave. On Com Ave, Saturday night. This coming Saturday night, which is really tomorrow night, isn't it? We could call it tomorrow night. <laughs> were, you, were you covering that in case this gets aired at another no, time? No, actually, I'd forgotten it was Friday. Boy, am I happy to realize it's Friday. Oh, yeah. Nice to see you, Thank Paula. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks a lot. You're terrific.